Sure. The guy who once called himself oh, Cover man. Yourself in Blood. <laughs> I, I look at this little kid in the booth, and uh, I'm like, he's playing against a killer man. You, you think about him, he, he doesn't have much experience here in the booth. You know, he's he's played a decent amount of games, yes, in Pro League, but, you know, recently he doesn't have the best results, and he's playing against a GSL champion, a guy who looks like he could be a hitman, uh, like his teammates, as we're going to get a, a look at him on the other side here. Here he is. Results Compass points north, 58 wins and 42 losses. That puts him, by the way, at a total of 100 Pro League games outside of playoffs. He's 8-7 and seven in Pro League this season. He's 2-3 and three versus Terran, but this guy has been on the up and up. Some of those older stats, we're looking at some of those older losses. Not as relevant as his recent championship, but he didn't beat a whole lot of Terran players to get there. So no. that's something to consider because... Uh, turn on the other hand prepares only for this matchup nothing else to worry about in the world right now and he might have been preparing to play on this map specifically for a really long time for a Kangnam style Terran build play, uh, played against the Protoss here we could see anything it's Habitation Station yeah I, I'd actually like to see him do something like that I feel like Turn has to do something out of the ordinary not just a straight up macro game with Zest I feel like if you give Zest enough times Zest is just going to kill him He's, he's got to do something out of the ordinary, or at least uh, force Zest to possibly make a mistake. Well, let's do this, Brendan. The winner of this match pulls their team into the lead. It's on Habitation Station. Samsung versus KT Rolster here at the SPL. Up here in the top left in the pink for Samsung Galaxy Khan, the Terran player. Undefeated, it is turn. No lift. Yep. To the top right in the red for KT Rolster, the GSL champion, our second Royal Rotor. It's Zest. Here, of course, we have the KT fangirls, GG girls. They want an all kill. They want but, an all kill. Um, it's not possible anymore. Uh, here no. are Samson GG girls. They drew a nice TV over there. That was cool. And uh, even though I said before the match that I would like to see Turin do something crazy, maybe float that over there, uh, you got to hand it to him that he has the confidence to do this against Zest. This is not just your your everyday Protoss player, not just your everyday StarCraft II pro gamer. It's a, it's a guy who has a ton of results on his back. And um, Turin, at least for now, is going to say, I'm going to play it standard. He's yet to stay if he, you know, he might later on pull all his SCVs and go against my words, but uh, what is he? we'll see. That's a really late SCV. He just didn't build anything for a really long time. He's from Finland. He's I been don't know what said Hangul, in, man. I don't know what that said in uh, in Finnish, I guess, but uh, I'm sure that it said I came from Finland. That's my that's my educated guess on this one. Yeah, would make sense. I'm I'm not feeling good about Turn, man. He I don't know what his original plan was, but he like cut SCVs for a little while and then started. And, oh my god. Well, what's the plan here? Okay, so CC first. Core in the main, but this is a weird timing. She says, I wore red to cheer for uh, KT. And the, she tells them to win. I guess this is just going to be a Stargate. It's a pretty lot of mining time wasted on that probe. but yeah, It was a bit early on the probe. It's, it's also going to guarantee that a scouting SCV doesn't bump into it, I guess, while it's going over there to make the pylon. Yeah. I actually don't think Zest needs to do this. Zest is the type of player who in Pro League sometimes just plays builds to, like, catch his opponent off guard or do something a little bit tricky when he just really, quite frankly, does not need yeah. to. I mean, go back to the game against Billowy, where he does the proxy oracles, and Billowy's well, like, he's like, well, I guess I'll just make three gateways and kill you then. Even though he doesn't know that the oracles are there, he still goes in and kills him because Zest is just trying to be tricky. 
I feel like Zest could have just played up a straight up game. A straight up game. I, I, I agree with you, but uh, wants to go with this. I mean, it's, it's a nice map for it. The Oracles will get to the base of turn very, very quickly. But again, it's, it's a bit tricky. Well, let's see. SV gets picked off here without seeing any pylons. And with a CC first, you know, you don't have that Reaper coming across the map. So there's no way for him to actually verify what's happening. In fact, he could, uh, you know, really position that Mothership Core in such a way to you control the Watchtower, make sure if he sees any other SCVs coming across the map, he can actually cut them off. But it doesn't matter at this point. It's already too late to get another scout in here. The Oracle's going to arrive way before that. And all he has is a few Marines in a bunker at the natural. He has all three of them in there. He's going to have a total of five Marines. And if the Oracle runs in and he only has a few Marines on the main base, he's going to be in a world of trouble. And now he turns a few of them around and he starts to realize, like, I am a bit vulnerable to this. Four Marines not going to be able to do the trick, I don't think. But let's see how much five will do and six when they pop out here. He's actually just going to ignore them, go for the workers here at the Nat. Yep. Gets one, gets two, gets a mule as well. And he's going to back off. Could get another one. And gets four. Nope, just four. Four and a mule. Yeah, four and a... F yep. What? <laughs> just a... F on a fifth, a f just a... F okay. F four enough? I guess five workers, because a mule is technically a yeah, worker. It's like five and a little bit. This Void Ray is going to shut down any drop play that comes in later. I've seen this a lot. Could also just go into a Void Ray all in. That's pretty strong. Um, we saw Deer try to do something like this and totally get wrecked, but it was a very different situation. This is a, a situation where I feel the Void Ray all in could, could be great. Uh, let's see. He actually, yeah, he starts another one. Three gateways. Brandon, this is my kind of build. It's what I like to see. I know you're all about the Void Rays. I'm all I, about I, the Void I've Rays. been at your house while you're playing StarCraft 2. You just Void Ray all in everyone. You just, like, see me wake <laughs> up, sit in my boxers at my computer, and, like, log into StarCraft and Void Ray all in game after game. Yeah, that's what I do. Not, I, I didn't have the privilege of doing it on a map such as this, the gold base <laughs> so accessible for extra zealot warp ends. Third Void Ray is queued. Oh, he's just going to show it? He's sexy and he knows it, man. Just going to show it. He's not afraid to. Well, he's going to go in with the second one. He's got another one queued up, and this is like research is done. He's about to pop three gateways as well, and that is not enough Marines. Not even close, man. Stim is not done. Uh-oh. Charges up here on the spike. He's just like running away. He should not be running away here, actually. He has like a time warp available, too, plus the Oracle. Yeah. I he's think just he going to kill fine. depots instead to try to slow down the production, I guess, but... Killing Marines is a better choice, I would say. He's still going to get a Marine and then, like, also get the depot. He needs to be careful not to get his Void Rays trapped here, though. That uh, most of course, in danger. Uh, very big danger here. He's got to turn around. Okay, he does go with the Time Warp. It's not the best one, but it does catch a bunch of these Marines. And now he's going to pick off more of these depots. And you know what? Like, turn can't build anything. Yeah, and his opponent has Gold Base Economy with a fourth Void Rays about to pop. Uh-oh. He's... He's going to die here, Brendan. He's got not enough minerals to make bunkers. Even he's starting additional barracks way too late. Stim is done. Well, that's just uh, that's one small thing he has going for him. Yeah. And if you think about turn, I he has no idea what Zest is following up with here. He's like, oh, he might be going ear toss. And then at the front, there's going to be a bunch of stuff. Another nice time work here. There's enough void race to just fight them head on. And that's all turn has. Like, I don't even know if there's a lot at the front. No, there's oh. there's a bunker and one Marauder. Not even in the bunker with the Marauder. Four seal on the ramp. And that's lights out. Doesn't even need the ground army to actually win the fight in the main, even with Stim. Okay, Stim with what? Seven Marines against this? That's what he's got. And all these SCVs just suiciding on the force field. Yeah, they're stacking up there to die. Reactor will go down, limiting further the Marine production. These two Marines fighting without their friends. They both go down. That turret needs to be careful who he's messing with here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this game is totally over. GG. Zest can see everything of turn. He does reveal everything. There's the GG. Zest, yeah. cool build on the map. Yeah. I like it. It's pretty interesting. Interesting to me that we didn't see turn play the map. Because I would have thought. No. I would have thought that turn is the one to play the map, you know, just because he's the one who's less favored. He's the one who's up against a GSL champion. You know, Kangnam Terran has figured out a little bit better these days, I would say, but still, 
really would have liked to see him do something else here. Zest, the one who pulls out the creativity, even yeah. hides his Stargate very early. And against the Command Center first, too, it's actually a pretty bad build. 